I got the most hilarious email this morning. Um, I quote from this email. I just canceled my account with you, not because of Tim, his staff, or guests, but because of Ian. He just is there to disagree with Tim. If Tim Cast is like hot fudge Sunday, then Ian makes that Sunday 7% cat shit. If I serve you a bowl of ice cream, but 7% of it was cat shit, would you still eat it? I don't think Ian's cat shit. I appreciate Ian being around here. He's like a new, like fresh air. He gives a different perspective on Tim Cast IRL. So I hope you guys know that that's why he's still a thing. That, that's about where my, the, probably where the damn screen, yeah. Yeah. Fucked up screen was. But yeah, so then we can probably still use this. Okay, let's just see from the other side. Shake that down a little bit. Maybe I just forgot how scared I was to drop in. Well, I'm trying to make sure that the radius is right. Um, trying to match all these up together because all of them lining up together. I'm um, trying to get all of them lined up together um, with the same radius. And um, three more. Yeah, it looks good. You want to use this? I would. Yeah, I would go with that one, and I would use the um, um, the cutout for this. Yeah, just double up the two by sixes right there at the joint. Yeah. And then um, two on the side because it'll hit both both panels. Mm -hmm. Two on the side, two on the side, and then two up. To keep them tight together. Yeah, that should be fine. Where, where are they joined? Joined together. Oh, two okay. by four. Right, so. Put a two by six on each side and just throw them underneath. Top them. Once you get the brace on the bottom, it'll be nice and solid, and then everything can be put together from there. I got this. I got the top Good. We'll have, to, we'll have to build another one, um, just another freestanding four foot, okay. like that for the launch ramp for the airbag. And then, but we'll do that once we're done with lining all this stuff up. It's Seamus' birthday. So we're planning a birthday party for Seamus. Because he's Irish, so it's gonna be Irish themed. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you got it, right? Yeah. I gotta go downstairs. Oh. It's Seamus' birthday, I'm busy. I have to do stuff. But are you picking up the cake? No, I'm not doing anything. Oh. And then also I just upgraded to a throwing oh. hammer. You took his shit? Yeah. How do you do it? Uh, push B on him to check him. He, I already took his. This is not oh. But the helmets are like... And how many levels are there? You can right now. Oh, cool. And they just get bigger and bigger. Yeah, but we need the actual story mode, you know? Yeah. Why is the... Why is the... Is it the apocalypse? What do you mean? The background. Oh, these are just filler because Shims doesn't draw anything in. Oh. Throw it. It bounces around. Throw it at the wall? What other weapons are there? Guns and stuff? Uh, guns aren't in it right now, but they're, I mean, they're in the game, but not in this and game. And we, 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 got, we got to change all these because we don't want them to have actual weapons, you know? Yeah, we do. And the We want it to be cartoon violence because we're going to have them physically beating real people. Oh, that's a good weapon. 16. A throwing hammer. You grab it. Are the items progressively stronger or something? Yeah. How, do you, how do you do this? Oh, you can kick now? Yeah. And then all it does is punt him. It's got a big knock. Oops. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> so now what happens? Yeah, that's another problem. Can you leave the level? Yeah, that's a bug. <laughs> you can't leave the level now? Just restart. You have a holy shirt. Mm hmm. And that's a holy cat. <clears throat> This is not what buckle. Are you upset that Sarah and I threw away your box? We had a box for him that was his perfect nest. You're my favorite person here. I'm He's not a person. person. Still my favorite. Love the cat. Tolerate everybody else. Well, okay. <laughs> what are we writing? Looking for your packages? Here. So now right, looking for your packages, just in one line. You can do it. I don't know if we're allowed to talk about this. <laughs> God. It was a good try. It's fine. It's useless. You don't need to do it now. The whole point was to f 
fit it all into one <laughs> line. What, why you, she didn't write high, but she wrote an enormous L that did not need to be anywhere near that size. Looking for your packages? You do it. I probably can't either. Brett has really pretty handwriting. No, I do not. A minute. It's like my handwriting, but smaller. Why is there, why is every other letter like capitalized? Which one? Why is the Y and the P capitalized? No, uh, I don't know. It's the same thing you do if you're writing a headline. Mm, but the same uh, headline. Well, at least I could all fit it all into one line. So I win whatever the stupid prize was for this stupid game. You get a package. A package of lotions. Isn't that right, Bucko? <sighs> Bucko's like, I don't think much. Did he just shake his hips? But I was like, I don't think much of the Constitution. We the people. Margaret Hatcher is uh, the white law, uh, was it Longhorn? No, that's, that's like a bull or something. It's a uh, foghorn? No, leghorn, there you go. Someone sent our white leghorn Margaret Hatcher some mail. Fresh eggs. So it's a stencil. That's a pretty cool stencil. Cool. And then, uh, I don't know what we do with it though. Make a sign out of it? If we put it on the fence of Chicken City, it'll, the shadow will, uh, it will write it on the floor. Stencil revolution. Oh, so you just get stencils made? I don't know, but yeah, pretty cool. Thank you. Right now we've got a lot of eggs that are about to hatch. Uh, these ones are supposed to hatch today, and like four of them have already pipped, which means that like they broke that uh, the eggshell, and they're about to come out soon. And then these ones are coming tomorrow, so by the end of the day, we'll probably have like at least four new baby chickens. And uh, right now, it's on Chicken City in the corner, picture in picture. These are speakers that we're gonna mount in Chicken City so that it can blast sounds when people super chat. Because right now we have a wireless system that's not as great and like kind of doesn't go that loud anyway. So this is an upgrade. I've been working on and I'm almost finished with Tales from the Inverted World Volume 2 theme song, which is basically the theme song, but I remade it to focus more heavily on the, I guess, gold ghost concept. So in doing that, I uh, broke out my grandfather's harmonica to see if maybe it would fit in there, and I realized that, uh, so he's got the same birthday as me. He has died, but I used to write him little notes uh, and put them in there on my slash his birthday. And I was going through these, and one of them, they're kind of funny ones like, oh, happy birthday, Grandpa Jack, have a drink in heaven for me. Got them dated, one is like, one was like a started learning how to play your melodica the other day. Wish me luck. Love your grandson, Carter. And this is my favorite because this one is like, you know, happy birthday, Grandpa Jack. Hope you don't mind that this one's a day late. Thanks again for all the music talent. So he's got to be up there like, all right, my harmonica's being, well, he might be like, oh, my harmonica's being bastardized by this guy who doesn't know how to play the harmonica. But it's like, Pretty sweet harmonica, to be honest. Like, look at this. It's got this, uh, I don't know anything about harmonicas, but this one has a button that seems to pitch bend some of the notes, so it's like. I take that back. I do know something about harmonicas, but not enough to call myself a harmonic expert or anything. Let me show you the TFTIW. V2 song real quick. I'm brushing up the banjo right now. So I'll play the old one, which is now available on every streaming service. The uh, extended cut, Tales from the Inverted World, right here. You can go to TimCast, find that song, as well as Will the People retro version. But here is the new Tales from the Inverted World with a metronome. Let me mute some stuff here. I actually wanted a car test this anyways. 
So let's just go down to my car and give it a listen in there with the car speakers, make sure it's sounding full and thick. I've been like, I feel kind of bad about this. I'm going to the store in the morning and getting like donuts. And I justify it because I go to the gym right afterwards. And it's, you could do that. I mean, it's just, it's carbs, but it's going straight to your muscles. As long as you do like a good, good pump. You could eat muffins, you know, turn it right into a, uh, to muscle calories. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Let's see how this sounds. Countries here. on the damn planet. That's it's all Southern. about getting. Southern cameo there. sounds pretty sick I think we got a new RV we're going on a trip soon Andy's currently working on it so we're gonna see what he's up to Few holes looks good. <laughs> well, they gotta go somewhere. That's what they all say. Any ideas with the um, the soundproofing, the computer stuff? Yep. I'm just gonna build a like a wooden box, basically, and uh, not with like walls or anything. We don't need any plywood. It would basically just be what eight two by fours, and then we would. Uh, I mean, not staple, but the concept of like tapering the blanket, like a cube. Uh, there's, so like a, there's a crate out by the electric box thing. That's oh, really? A, it's a wooden crate that the um, the, the airbag came in. Are they throwing it away? Yeah, it's just there for trash. Oh, so check that okay. out. That might be that might be about what you need. Yeah, is that down by the? Uh, I mean, I could even do it with... Uh, it's by the green electric box, by the okay. shed. Yeah. And then also, um, the pallet that... I that, do it with a pallet. That's really The pallet it. that it came on, I, I think it was a flat plywood top. Perfect. And that's at the end of the driveway. I'm going to grab that then. Yeah, that's all I need. There's a problem with sound um, as far as the computer's loud. Um, and we're trying to find a way to dampen that sound. So it's overbearing during the show. Um, so me being the, the soundproof guy, I uh, came up with a solution. And we're gonna see if it works or not. Uh, but I'm gonna build it out. It'll fit snugly under Lydia's desk there. And There's a little noticeable in the stream last time. Okay. And that killed me. You know, every Yeah, oh dude. Every episode sure. it's like you got Joe Rogan and Alex Jones. Every uh the every time decibel you, like, you can go down. Yeah. Is a Yeah. What do they say that saying every day above ground is a good day? I'm like every decibel you can go down and sound is a good day. Check this out. Um these things I don't know Tim bought these for like wall mounting um, podcast arms. Yeah. I don't know what they're designed to, to work with though because we don't have any arms that that fit this slot. I mean, you could do anything with that. <laughs> so what I uh, <laughs> use guitar hangs upstairs to mount microphones. Yeah. Uh, so you I mean I could but, probably use So we don't that. we don't have we don't have any that work with it, but this is what I ended up I just put them sideways 90 degrees. Oh, and just put the regular ones on there. It's not Oh, as, nice. It's you not just, as cool as having like a mounted Oh, so you just clamp, dude? I didn't notice. Yeah. I didn't notice that at all until you said that. Yeah, I mean, it looks fine. It looks yeah. better than the old, because in, in the old RV, it was like these just L brackets that were ugly. And that is true. These look at least in, a lot nicer, but it still, it sucks. Like, I don't know what podcast arms these are designed what? for. I mean, I, but it's we almost like have just any, the mic time. would go into I don't have time hole. to wait for another set of podcast arms, so, so this will work. 
this and or just the L bracket solution that we had originally. Um, we yeah. still got plenty of those L brackets. I mean, if the L brackets were black, it wouldn't look that bad. Yeah, we could paint the L brackets this time. Last time we just kind of ran up against the wires. Like the last thing that we did was yeah, I mean, find those L brackets. You we put that studio them. together in like a week. <laughs> so with COVID, with COVID. Oh yeah, here it is. I don't know if this will work, actually. Yeah, there's just not enough wood. Are they throwing that away? I thought, oh, that was, oh! Yeah, I don't know if this will work either. I really just need two by fours, like this. This would work, but I don't know, we'll see. Today's Seamus' birthday. Tim helped me decorate. There we go! We want to make sure that we're honoring Seamus' heritage. So we put Ireland, I put gold and Mick birthday, and I, I, I drew the Irish flag. Mm -hmm. Ireland! Seamus is very proud of his heritage. Yep. And Seamus finally replied back to my test. Mm. We need a potato. Do we have a potato? We have potato chips downstairs. We should put potato chips on it. Okay, I got you. It's fancy. This bottle. That I hope I don't break. Wow, they really secure these things, huh? How do you even open those? I gotta do this with four bottles, yikes. There we go. Oh, it's like a lid. Look at that. And then what? Did it slide out? Oops. That works. Wow, these are crazy. This is a very expensive bottle of whiskey. This is like 1400 bucks. Pappy Van Winkle. I gotta open four of these. So we're gonna sprinkle potato chips on the cake because as you know, potatoes are so sacred to Seamus and his people. Should I make them tinier so they're like actual potatoes? Sprinkle them around the sides of the cake. Don't put them on the cake. Don't put them on it. Put them around the sides. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, something like this, right? Like a long yeah, side. Yeah, it's a garnish. Okay. You know, okay. garnish the cake in potato chips. Have you ever had potato chip ice cream? No joke, it's really good. Isn't there like a potato chip? Um, Look at that. Candy bar also. It's like Probably. chocolate. They have potato chip cookies too, and they are really good. Five grand worth of whiskey. Seamus is here, and it's his birthday. Oh, here he comes, he's pulling in. Is he gonna put the chain back? Is he gonna be responsible? All right, bet right now whether you think he'll put the chain back up. What's he doing? He's doing it. Look at this responsible guy. Putting the chain back. <laughs> he just walks away. That was the test. He passed. All right, here he comes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Why am I being filmed? Surprise, uh, man. Hey! Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. Oh, no. We got the cake. Thank we got you, the cake. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the cake and said, oh, no. Here's a card. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do the cake first. Okay. All right. Come over. Come on. Come. It's so thoughtful of you guys. Thank you. you. We worked really hard. 
Oh my gosh, that's so racist. Thank <laughs> what you. What are you guys. talking about? Okay, that's actually very, very nice. It's <laughs> like, very nice. Gold on it. I love this. This is very nice. You're going to read what it says for the people? It says, Ireland make birthday ye old lad. <laughs> and look, Thanks, I drew, guys. I, I drew the flag of Ireland for you. Honestly, it's a very good Irish flag. You put potato chips around it. It's like very <laughs> solid. Thank you, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to hit me. <laughs> That's like also racist. This is, this is <laughs> Thank you, you guys. It, you know, the potato chips. Hey, they're supposed to be the green I know, that's racist. Chips. All right, let's light it. Well, you want to read the card? Yeah, let me read it. Huh. Should I light the candles? Yes. May the leprechauns dance over your bed and bring you sweet dreams, Miracle. That's very sweet. You skipped the first part. Oh, oh, happy birthday. This part? Or is there... Hope this is just the beginning of a terrific year for you? Isn't there a line of love? Happy birthday from Sarah. Wait, what other line? Happy birthday from Allison. Happy birthday, lad. Bless you on your B-Day from Ryan. They call you birthday boy Coglin from Brett. Good, he knows me too well. Happy birthday, dude. Um, and what may, many happy, oh my goodness, I can't read this one. Many happy uh, something of the Sound day. Out, that out. was Hannah Claire. Um, <laughs> the writer. This is so thoughtful. Thank you, you guys. You're old. Love Andrew. Thanks, buddy. No problem. Uh, Twenty-seven. Ripe old age. Rewriter. There you go. Where, what did you write? Make your make your make birthday Thank wish. Thank you, buddy. All right. I just lit them all. These blow them out. That's literally what you asked me to do. <laughs> That's what birthdays are for. Fun. You guys are the best. Thank you. This is very All right, sweet. we got to cut you a slice. Sweet. Do I have to cut it? again. We got to do another take. Yeah. All right, let's look at the back. Is that, is that the knife you use? Yeah. Cut, cut yourself a slice. You need to go for the island? Don't forget to get some potato chips on that. That's like really <laughs> offensive to. It actually might be good. The yeah, potato chips? Honestly, like, I think yeah, like the potato chips are actually going to be good. I, what, well, I mean, I asked for whole potatoes, but. You know, mm. nobody wanted to do it. Well, I'm offended. This, is, this looks delicious. Thank you. What bakery made this potato chip, potato chip cake? All right, who else wants? Who else wants birthday cake? Anybody? Uh, oh, am, I, cake. Am, I, Everybody am I too old for you? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. You sprinkle some potato chips? Yeah, of course, bro. Which, which, which should I go for? Should I go for the Irish, Irish flag or the gold? Uh, please don't desecrate the flag of my people like, uh, <laughs> by eating it. By eating it? <laughs> it's not meant to be eaten. Really? How's everybody doing? Good, man. Good. How are you? What'd you get? Really good. What'd you get? Um, a lot of really cool stuff. Because I've, like, I've got a bunch of friends. <laughs> besides you guys. Like, if I, I've got a whole lot of friends who all just got me really cool stuff. So, like... Yeah, it's like no big deal. What's the coolest thing you got? Um, Can you name you one wouldn't get it. <laughs> Can you name three friends? Yeah, <laughs> name one. You didn't read the card. You didn't read the whole. Yes, I did. I read the whole part. No, you didn't. Ooh, chips. There's a. Oh, I can guide you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was gonna say no. That's not a word. That's not a phrase. That's just <laughs> once again <laughs> racist. You just Alex skipped over tried it. really hard to figure out how to write that now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think that's funny? Does that make you laugh? Am I being a joke to you? Yeah. No, okay. I'm just well, too well, shame. Right. <laughs> and yet you insult your own people. The funniest part is that you're, you're from Chicago and you're there. <laughs> Actually, I'm from a different place. I'm from Chicago. You shouldn't have put dairy in there. Why'd you put spuds in there? It should have been some, some deep dish pizza. Wait, an ammunition. We could have made Giordano's. We could have made Giordano's instead. But none of you like me. I had to write the word Ireland? You know how hard that was for me? Yeah, dude, that's probably very difficult. Are you? I didn't. Can you write? When did you? Yeah. I also wrote Big Birthday. Yeah, that was very offensive. <laughs> Son of birthday is what that means. <laughs> uh, Son of a birthday. I asked Alex, what was the most offensive thing I could write? What's that? So, McBitch would mean 
So I said, what's, what's the most offensive thing I've ever written on cake? Mm. And you wrote me birthday. Right. I don't know, I've had more offensive things written uh, on cakes for me in this house, so. <laughs> Do that bit, I do. We gotta, we have to get a bunch of different numbers. Like, happy birthday, Seamus. Remember, we're gonna keep keep switching the age out without no. saying anything. No. We had this idea for a bit. We're not gonna do it now. You're gonna have to delete this, or else it'll be spoiled when we finally do it. Counts. I'm gonna explain. Explaining it is the same as doing it. You know, they, they always say, tell, don't show. So, <laughs> the idea was we were gonna get a small birthday cake for my birthday. And then we were just gonna have a bunch of different numbers and the camera would like whip away. And as soon as the cake was off camera, someone would like swap the numbers out for different numbers. So no one knew what my age was and it was constantly changing on the cake, but we just wouldn't address it. <laughs> then we decided that Seamus was gay instead. 